But for now, we need to move on and make ourselves a canning machine because now that we've got all this power, we need to actually start to use it. And to do that, we have to make ourselves some overclockers. And to do that, we need to get ourselves, uh, to, well, before we can make the overclockers, we need some IC2 coolant. And for IC2 coolant, we need the fluid solid canning machine. Uh, thankfully, We've got everything it takes. It's actually super easy to make. Also, this death note can get out of my face. It's a horrible reminder of, of a time when we died. I don't want to see it. <laughs> also, there's these freaking death bites. Get out of my face. And we've got another one as well. Flip it out. Don't worry about it, chat. Don't worry about it. Uh, so, if we were to put this down, um, I guess like here for now we'll do. And then we'll connect it up with uh, one of these insulated copper cables. Uh, and now what we need to do is a few things first of all we have to set this uh, into fluid enrich mode and the way this works is once it's provided with power we need to put in some lapis dust which we can get by macerating up some lapis like so once we've done that let me also put this tin back in i guess uh, up here like that is that going to work it is but we need to put our output upgrade back into there do something like this that should be back on track and um, so now we've got this we can begin to produce lapis dust very very slowly and i think each eight lapis dust gets us one um cell of coolant now uh, to make the coolant cells we have to get uh, some templates here i have been a bit wasteful with my tin i've been using the forge hammer when really i should have been using uh, the metal farmer which i will start to use now and also this chest uh, is going to need an upgrade fairly soon because it is real small um, so now we've got this plates are coming in thick and fast which is nice we can craft those with our forge hammer to get more of these item casings then we can use this uh, with some glass and actually i think we can use glass uh, panes like that which we probably already have in a chest somewhere but for now if we do this boom we can craft up those we're going to need at least three uh, in order to make our first overclocker and if we do this and boom so we can put these in over here in the top left slot and we can take our eight lapis we need eight lapis dust i think per um cell of icy to coolant and we stick that in in the top left then once you put water in this tank on the left it should start to produce icy 2 coolant now for some reason you can't put water just directly in i think i feel like this used to be the case or it might, it might not have been it might always have been that you have to do it through some other means but for whatever reason i cannot put this directly into the the fluid slash solid canning machine and also, I tried using this uh, fluid transfer node, and it also didn't work. From what I can see, the only way that we can do this, or the, the way that I found, I should say, is by using the fluid tank from Ender.io, which is not that hard to make, thankfully. It's actually quite easy to make, and we can also use it for other stuff uh, later on down the line if we need to. But somebody in chat probably has a better answer. But whilst I wait for that better answer to come through, potentially, uh, I'm going to make one of these fluid tanks from Ender.io, uh, because with these, you can put it down, like this, you can open it up and then set one of these sides like this by right-clicking uh, to push. And then once it's set to push, if you put the water in, it's going to go ahead and fill it up. I think you need like 1.5, maybe two buckets in order for this to work. Make the solar distiller. I did read about this. Apparently, if we use the solar distiller, uh, let me have a look here, actually. Solar distiller. Oh, yeah, this guy here. Uh, if we make the solar distiller, we can turn our water into distilled water, which I believe gets us... It just lasts longer. It means we don't have to fill this up as much, which is fine and all. And also, we do have our first um, universal fluid cell there, which is good. Uh, are we going to have enough here? We've got uh, 18. Uh, yeah, we are. We're going to have enough to make three fluid cells uh, full of IC2 cooler, which is good. Um, I'm not going to make the solid distiller just yet because I don't really see much point when we could do this very um, tedious backwards and forwards. We should really set up a um, an unlimited water source, right? <laughs> Give me a second. Let's, let's like clear out just a little bit of an area here like this. And then if we put down some dirt again to kind of cover this up. We don't need this hole anymore. I don't do much mining uh, down there. I'm just going to do this and then we're going to get one more bucket's worth and we're going to get an unlimited water source right next to the um, right next to the fluid slash solid canning machine which will make life a little bit easier. No more backwards and forwards. Um, distilled water means you only need one lapis dust per bucket of IC2 coolant instead of eight. Oh. Huh. In that case then, suddenly this becomes much more appealing let me see this so I, I did see on reddit that this was just slow which is why i've decided right off the bat not to make it but if it works i guess that's fine let me check that that's the right setting yeah that's correct uh, so let's go do that we've got glass no we don't have glass we have glass over here yes all right let me get rid of like sticks and iron bars and ladders and whatnot that we don't need in our inventory also we don't need to be carrying around uh, this trash bag for now 
Uh, so that's fine. We need to make two more of these. But for that, we need more of these, which are coming in, thankfully. Like that, and then glass in the middle. One, two, and then do we have what it takes? No. It looked like we had two, but we only had one. Kapow, kaboom, and kaboom. Nice. So how does this work then? I'm assuming that it requires energy. And by that, I mean, obviously, it doesn't require energy. So it puts water in, and then it slowly distills that water into very, very, very slowly <laughs> distills that water into distilled water. Now, this is exactly why um, I didn't want to do this, because this is so slow. This is so incredibly slow. Are there pumps in the pack? There are indeed. There was even one uh, from Industrial Craft 2 that we can make. This guy over here. Isaac, have you made copper bindings yet? They give XP bonuses if you do. We haven't yet, but we will work on that. Um, probably when we make our lumber axe fairly soon here. Um, but yeah, that's 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 real slow. <laughs> that's like so incredibly slow. Uh, but here we go. We've got 16 uh, lapis dust. For now, I'll take this out. We'll just use the 16 uh, that we have. It is going to be expensive. It is going to use quite a bit of our lapis here. But it's going to give us uh, the three universal fluid cells that we need to make one singular overclocker. Not the best. And it's also not going to increase our speed like million a million times. It's not going to be so much faster than it is right now. Uh, but it is going to be faster. And once it's faster, uh, we can then start to make all of this stuff even faster. You know, we can do more of this over and over and over again. So let me just quickly fill this up. Like so. Any second now that'll be done. So much for pen drying, distilling water is slower. Tell me about it. 22 miller buckets? I mean, it works. And if we were going to produce like a thousand, if we made like 50 of these, then it could probably produce a bucket in a reasonable amount of time. But flipping egg, it's, it's so slow. How much water can this thing hold? It looks like quite a bit. So I mean, I guess we can like just leave. We can fill this up and leave it here. And when we come back uh, to do this in the future, like, it'll be good, you know, future Isaac will thank me for filling this up and having this water ready. Um, it looks like we can't put more than, like, maybe five buckets worth in at once. Oh, no, we totally can. Just taking a little bit of time here. I think the server is uh, is lagging just a little bit. But this is going to very slowly get us a good amount of uh, distilled water. But if it only takes one piece of lapis, that will make it a lot easier. Because we don't really have the lapis available. We've got 27 left. You know, we need 16 to make one. Uh, no, we need 24 to make one overclocker. So uh, we really do need all of it we can get. So it looks like that. Maybe 10,000 uh, miller buckets is the maximum there. Uh, but if we come back over here, we have what it takes, I think. Oh, no, we do get two overclockers, which is nice, uh, to do something like this and that doesn't work yet because you have to craft these with tin plates which i knew because we've got tin plates ready to go here but i used them that's not what i want to do let us somewhat quickly here i'm just going to craft them again because i don't want to have to wait because i'm impatient and thus waste resources left right and center uh, i think 12 should do the trick and then boom boom and finally if it doesn't mess up here like that we can get ourselves the coolant cells, which we can then craft into a freaking overclock cook grid. Thankfully, we get the universal fluid cells back, so we can put those back into the fluid solid canning machine uh, to use again in the future. For now, if we come over to our metal farmer, let us see if we can watch this thing in action. So if we take some iron out and we put some iron in here to get some iron plates, pretty slow. If we put this in, a little bit faster. You can kind of see the slowdown there. It's not like infinitely fast you know it's not super duper fast you can see that it does say uh, it decreases the process time by 50 percent, so it's twice as fast uh, i think that it was before but it does increase the power to more than double to 2.5 times what it was using before but i think that we should have enough power coming from our windmill uh, so that this doesn't matter too much it should be fine and there we go we have got faster metal farmers which is nice you know we've been using uh, this thing all the time and the fact that it's now quicker is good we could probably put like four or five overclockers in here with the power we got right now and it still should i think work um but of course that would require us making more overclockers which takes more time which we don't have right now uh, so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna very quickly like dump a bunch of stuff into this chest here uh, and then we're gonna see about making ourselves a lumber axe because i would like to have one and it's gonna make chopping down trees so much easier and once we've got ourselves the lumber axe we can then start to progress on with our pagoda we might even move some stuff over into the pagoda as well can you overclock the distiller it's a good question it does have slots for it but no you cannot um that would have been an odd thing to do because it doesn't require any power it just kind of works on its own um but yeah it should be it's it's 
it's going to take a while. <laughs> it's going to take a while. But um, probably by the time we come back for next stream, uh, we should have at least one bucket's worth. And so we can start making um, more of those overclockers faster. Now, in order to get the lumber racks, if we come over to our tool forge, we need um, more plates, which thankfully we've already got the cast for. Uh, we need a, tool, a tough tool rod. We need a tough tool binding, which I don't think we have lying around. Oh, no, we do. And then finally, we also need, uh, of course, the Lumber Axe Head, which I think is one of the only ones uh, that we do not have right now. The question is, do we have... No, <laughs> is the answer. Uh, I will take this because we're going to need it today. But uh, the, the question was, do we have uh, any blank patterns lying around? The answer is no, we do not. And so we are going to have to do a little bit more um, uh, woodcutting here just to get this uh, started. Steel Lumber Axe? Is the Steel Lumber Axe worth it? I mean, we've got... Cobalt. We've got 10 cobalt ingots, and so I feel like using cobalt for our lumber axe only makes sense. <laughs> so we need to get the, um, what's it called? Is it called, like, the axe head? What is this, uh, what is this part called? Let me see here. Let's make the, uh, let's make the binding. Uh, by the binding, I mean let's make the, whatever this is called, blank pattern. <laughs> you know, you'd think I'd have this down by now. Uh, let us in here. Kapow, and then we need this thing, which is the broad axe head, I see. And then this requires eight ingots. And so I'm going to put eight of our cobalt in here. One, two, three. All eight of these can go in like so. That's going to form our head. Uh, make an unbreakable lumber axe. How does one go about making an unbreakable lumber axe? Obsidian plates? So I think I, th I thought in order to get the... Um, the um, unbreakable, like the reinforced X, you needed to put a bunch of obsidian on as a modifier, but I don't think we have that many modifiers, right? Paper with five plates. Uh, is it this? Reinforcement? Okay. Uh, first things first, uh, I'm going to put cobalt in the smell tree while clock is going. Gosh dang it. It's fine. We've got, we've got our... Oh no, we, it's... Oh gosh. No, no. Please stop. No. <laughs> He's right. He's called me. No, we. I thought we had the the little like line of blood right there that would save us, but we did not. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, yes, that one. Yes, Isaac. That we have to make this. Oh, so we just okay. Like this is easy enough. We can get obsidian, like super easy, right? You need five of them, so we need to make five of those. Forty obsidian and five aluminium brass. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not particularly hard for us to do. Um, put a lever on the clock, you turkey. Yeah, I mean, I guess we did throw away a lever earlier in the stream, didn't we? So we should really uh, just do something like this, like this, and then like this. Uh, wow, yeah, and like this. Turn that off. Uh, let me get rid of my glass as well here real quick. We'll get that out of here. Um, every plate gives you a 20% chance to not use durability. I see. And so if we put five on them, we have like a 100% chance. But we can make our um, lumber axe head out of cobalt. Right? Like, this is something that we can still do. So if I put my aluminium brass in there, and we very quickly grab one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cobblestone, we can make one of these, like so. We can stick that into here. Once the aluminium brass is ready, we can then pull that out and then uh, make our cast correct. Okay. All right. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. So, not a lot to do. Boom, we'll do that. Uh, we are going to have to put a bunch of lava into the smell tree. We have four and a half buckets, which is not a nice number, really, but it's fine. So we'll take this, and I guess, yeah, I guess we're going to have to do like one, two, three, four, and then we don't have to, we don't have enough to fill that. So we're going to have to get 40 obsidian, which is not particularly bad, but it's also not particularly great. I'm not going to lie. Also, can I empty this bucket anyway, chat, without the configurator? Or do I need it? Uh, no, it needs to be paper because of the extra modifiers. So I can't... So, I, hold on then. So I can't make our lumber axe out of cobalt. Because the cobalt only has three modifiers. Whereas the paper one has five modifiers. So I have to make the whole thing out of paper. This, I can do. This I can definitely do because... Well, I say definitely. This I can maybe potentially do if we go and get... Oh, no, we've got a good amount of sugar cane here. Uh, also, is there an easier way for us to make paper that I am unaware of, that I am missing out on? There does not appear to be, at least not yet. Okay, that's fine. So, we can get a lot of paper, right? Easy enough. Easy enough. So, over here, boom. Oh, no, we need a uh, different kind of paper, don't we? We need to get ourselves the Tinker's Construct paper. Right? Hold on. 
He better not have screwed this already. Isaac, come on, what have you... Am I mistaken here? Does this not work? Material value six, paper. Can I not make this? Oh, it's, yeah, this is right. Like, that doesn't work. That works. And then I'm assuming that the tough tool rod will also work. And then maybe even the plate will also work? Like that? We do need a lot more paper to make it happen, though. So we can take nine here. Uh, you need three paper for the tough one. Oh. Oh, I see. So we need, right. We need, do we need three paper? So we need 24 paper for the large plate and then 24 more paper for the, um, for the head. Is that right? Is it like three paper, paper stack? Is it like three paper per thing that you need? Is this correct? If so, we are, ooh, I mean, I'm gonna collect this, I'm gonna collect this canola real quick, so we're gonna use this for power. Um, but do I need to go find more sugar cane? Is that the, is that the basic answer there to get more paper? Each piece counts as 0.25 or 0.5, I see. So we need either double or quadruple the amount of, of paper. That's, that's good to know. We, we either need a lot or just a lot, a lot. In that case then, we need a lot more sugar cane. We need a lot more sugar cane. So we need four paper for every one um, material required. And that means we're gonna need 30 to, we need a stack of paper in order to get the, um, in order to get both the lumber axe head as well as the uh, the large plate cast here. Uh, also, we should eat. And thus, we're going to need what? You get, uh, that's just like a stack of sugar cane, right? Because you get one piece of sugar cane uh, every time that you, um, for every piece of paper, I mean. And you can also make paper with rice. Is this actual additions? It is. So we can use rice to make paper. Um, how would we go about, because we can make fertilizer. We haven't seen any appetite yet. Does it not come in all form? If it does come in all form, where is it? Why level 60? I guess we just haven't been high enough, maybe. Uh, because this kind of works as bone meal. And so if we could get rice seeds and then bone meal the heck out of those, I feel like that would be a much... Much simpler way of doing it. You're going to do 56 paper, okay. I can see some sugar cane in the distance over there. Um, how do we go about getting rice seeds? Are rice seeds just acquired through breaking of grass? Rice is on the water, you're passing by rice on the water. Would you look at that? I am indeed, okay. Okay, 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 That's gonna, that makes things a bit easier. So... Now we just need to find, oh yeah, there's quite a bit of it, isn't there? I'm just <laughs> walking right past it. Now we need to, it would be nice if we could find some appetite because we don't have uh, enough bone meal to get a good amount of this rice through farming. Um, also, do I have to plant these on the water somehow? How does one go about, yeah, that doesn't work. Uh, how does one go about planting this um, rice without the use of AgriCraft? Because we don't have AgriCraft um, installed in the pack. Or should we just go and try and find as much of this rice and as much of this sugar cane as we possibly can and then use that instead? Right. Boom, boom, boom. Done and done and done. We got 54. Uh, I'm going to hold off on... I'm going to make one more here, actually, 55. going to hold off on using our sugar cane because I'd like to plant the sugar cane uh, for future use if possible. Uh, but now, if we do not this, this, can we make this? We can use so many. <laughs> ah! <laughs> um, and then I guess we should start putting these uh, into here just to free up a little bit of inventory space like that and like that. I think we are, however, like four paper shy here of being able to make the uh, broad axe head. Yeah, we are. So I am going to have to craft up a couple, a couple of these here. Like so. Uh, I think six should be more than enough. And boom, yes, it uses 32. It does, you need four for every one. That is incredibly expensive. Flip an egg. But, chat, we have, we have, we, we, I, I'm gonna say, we have done it. Um, I don't know if we have done it just yet. We're getting there. Because now that we've got ourselves, um, the paper lumber axe, the, uh, the paper lumber axe with the writable two, uh, we now have to upgrade it so that it actually has unbreakable. We have fire modifiers and we need to get a bunch of these reinforcement upgrades. Apparently, we need at least, apparently, we might need five of them. Um, from what I gather in chat, we might only need one, but most likely we're going to need five, I think. We'll see. 
Uh, I guess we could put our solar panel back down. It really makes no sense to not have it uh, generating free power for us, although really... Um, I guess we don't need the free power. We should be storing the power that that generates, though, because that, I think, is wearing down over time. But one thing at a time, chat, one thing at a time. So uh, we're doing more aluminium brass. We can get that in a second. Before we do that, let us take our tank. Let's head on down to the mines. Um, can we upgrade this tank easily is a question that I'm going to ask because we, um, we need a lot of buckets. Also, we need more freaking storage base. But we need a lot of, um, <laughs> we need a lot of buckets of lava. Uh, no, we can't really upgrade that easily although we could make this one but then i don't think we can use this as a, a bucket can we no i don't think we can uh what might be worth doing here then in that case is just making more of these tanks because i think if i'm not mistaken the tank is quite legitimately just iron and redstone it is you know what i'm gonna make like four tanks here it's a bit of a waste but that's going to allow us to get 64 buckets of lava in one trip, as long as there is enough lava uh, down in the mines here. And also, uh, do we have any space in here to kind of dump some of these ingots? We do indeed. Let us get all of these at the ready. Let's not forget that we have to put them into bucket mode, and then we also have to take them out of bucket mode once we're done. And we might as well go through to the nether to do this, because uh, it's got a lot of lava. Don't know if you've heard about it. It's a pretty good uh, source of lava. Let us switch this into uh, bucket mode. Pick up as many buckets worth as we can. And then... Before we get back to the, the base and then put the lava down because we forget to turn it off bucket mode, let's turn bucket mode off here preemptively. All right, look at this. Look at this. We're going to have 64 buckets of lava ready to go when we get back. We don't die in the nether. We have done it. <laughs> okay, we are back. So uh, let me make sure that all of these are out of bucket mode. I think they are. Uh, let's see. On, off, on, off, off, on. And then on off. Okay. But then I guess I guess we can just turn it back on to bucket mode, right? And then just do this. Yeah, there we go. So that's 16. And that's 32. And then now what we can do, now that we've done this, is we can go and get some water. We can do the exact same thing. We can get so much obsidian so quickly. And then we can use our redstone clock uh, to pull it out nice and fast. That is exactly what I wanted to do. Let's try that again. Uh, are these not on bucket mode? Bucket mode on. Here we go. It's a bit quiet. It doesn't make the um, the bucket sound for whatever reason. Bucket mode on. Here we go. We die everywhere but the mining dimension. Complaints about server lag makes flowing lava it get a server lag. The chunks are not loaded. It's fine. All right. Let's dump all these in here. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> oh, it's full. It's very full. Okay, let me pull this uh, molten obsidian to the bottom and then let's move our redstone clock no no that's not what to do it's fine because i think we can just fix this i'm not quite sure what that oh it's just grass uh, we can leave our death note that's also fine come on come on all right that's done redstone clock down there that should pull out obsidian it does whilst it's pulling out obsidian we can put in more buckets of water we do need to do a hopper but guys guys we have done it. So if we do this and we do this with the obsidian around it, we should then be able to add this to our lumber axe to give it reinforced, which takes its durability from 16 to 16. <laughs> it says reinforced 20%. Okay. So does reinforced mean that when we break something, it's got a chance of not using durability is that what that means so it's got, like it gets 20 percent the first time and then if we add more stuff to it it's going to get up to like 40 percent 60 percent 80 percent and then if we add five it gets to 100 percent chance of not losing durability and then therefore we we constantly have ah, i see so yeah 20 percent of no damage yes that is right isaac good okay it only took me like an hour to figure out what chat has been telling me all along but good 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 boom we can craft up two more of these like so and then we are very close to having this done. So, boom. And boom, we're at 60%. We need two more of them, which means we need 16 uh, more obsidian. We also need uh, just two more of those plates, which, look at that, we have. Uh, let's get rid of this. This death note is stalking me. It's, in, it's embarrassing me because we're carrying it around. It keeps trying to show me how many times we've died. Flipping it, it's trying to show me up. Here we go. And then we'll put the clock back down over here. And chat, we are actually almost there. 
<laughs> so very close to being there. So let's switch this to bucket mode. Let's dump all of this into here. That should get us a nice amount of lava. I'm not quite sure why we've got seared stone in here, but again, that's uh, fine, I guess. I want obsidian at the bottom. I'm going to leave that for now. I'm not going to pull it out just yet, otherwise it's going to start pulling all kinds of stuff out. Stick in the lumber axe, stick in this guy. 80%. We now have Unbreakable. They alive, damn it. It's a miracle. Uh, <laughs> we can now chop down trees in their entirety. It only takes about half a human lifespan. You know, about 40 decades in order to chop this down. So, you know, go get a coffee. Maybe get a, um, a will. You'll be dead by the time this is done. All right, there we go. Look, it chops down the tree. I love it. Didn't chop down all of it. Is that like our thing broken? Oh, it's unbreakable, of course. So this is all, this is good. But apparently, we can make it faster. Apparently, we can make it faster. If we use the cobalt that we have in here, and also this, oh, <laughs> he's in it again. Let's take this away. Uh, let's get, uh, oh, we need to put the aluminium brass. Oh, gosh, what a, what a waste of aluminium brass. Uh, we need, yeah, we need more aluminium brass in there, don't we? Uh, but that's fine. We've got one more here. Let me put this in. Uh, because what we're going to do is we're going to get a cobblestone version of the head here. We're going to make a head cast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to hopefully replace the uh, broad lumber head or whatever it's called. It's not called like the lumber axe head or whatever you did think it would be called. Uh, we can replace that with a cobalt variant, which will be quite nice indeed. And hopefully faster. Pipe it back in. Really? I can just do this. Like, if I get rid of this, I can go like that. Would you look at that? Twitch chat is right. As always. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, so we can put this back down like so. I'm just going to quickly put the transfer node down uh, back onto our coke oven so that it keeps, color, it keeps getting rid of all of that excess creosote that we don't need, uh, at least for the time being. This is now ready to go. Good stuff, good stuff. Pull that out. And then do we have any ingots worth? We do indeed. What we should be able to do once this is done, put the cobalt on the bottom and pull it out. And now people are telling me that I can then upgrade this to the cobalt version, right? Uh, did you not make one earlier? I don't think so. We got close to it, but oh no, yeah, I did. I, I definitely did. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's just a little bit of wasted aluminum brass and a little bit of wasted cobblestone. It's not too big of a deal. Uh, so that's going to take a little bit of time to craft up there. That's fine. Uh, and people also told me I should make bronze bindings. So I think a tough binding requires three. So if we take three bronze, one, two, three, and we stick that in here, we can make a bronze... Uh, we can make a binding cast, a tough binding cast, uh, in a second here. Yeah, three. And that should give us experience when we chop down trees, I believe, is the idea there. Okay. Uh, you can put a faucet on the basin and pour it into the into a casting bench with an ingot as well. All right, so we can, like, pull directly out of here into the casting table. Copper? Copper, not bronze. I have been, um, I have been corrected. People in chat are shouting the word copper very loud and calling me a donkey <laughs> which is fair um well <laughs> is this not done oh yeah it is but i have to, I have to play it out okay moment of truth who was right in twitch chat it totally works oh i love it look at this so our mining speed was 0 0.18 it's gone up to 2.19 that is a several multiple times multiple fold increase in in speed there oh chat. I mean, that wasn't a full tree, so he didn't chop it all down, but look at this. Are you ready? Boom. He has done it. Oh. Oh. We're going to get so much wood, chat. We're going to get so much wood. We're going to get it so fast. We're going to sleep because the rain is not something I want to put up with. Oh. We've done it. Copper, you, you turkey piece of trash. Copper, you turkey. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And then if we go boom, and we go boom, and we go boom, and we go boom, and we go boom. We should finally be able to make this uh, this copper binding that chat has been shouting about for quite some time. And then once we've got that, apparently we're going to get some, uh, some experience chopping down all the trees. That is going to be fantastic. Okay, is this done? It is done. Okay, so let's craft this up in here. Kapow, kaboom. Look at that. Well established as well. Oh, chat. I love it. So I guess we could also probably upgrade like the rest of our 
tool as well. Like, I'm not going to do it just yet, but I'm assuming we could upgrade the plate and also upgrade the rod to, for example, cobalt or electron or something like that uh, to increase the mining speed even further. Correct? It should be a copper rod, I think. Really? <laughs> People have spent... Oh, gosh. What's the attack damage on this like? Uh, 5.89. Does that make it our most damaging weapon? No, not quite. This one with 5.95 is a little bit, little bit better. Uh, we're probably going to have to set up some kind of storage door for the uh, the wood that we're about to get here because we're going to get so much of the freaking stuff. We're not going to have anywhere to store it. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's so much wood. The frame drops. Look at this tree here. Oh, guys. I hope nobody here works for an environmental agency because we are about to do some mass deforestation. It is going to be... Oh, I love it. I love it.